Okay, so today we are going to start about the elimination reaction. Yes, uh, this elimination reaction we already studied in the 11th standard. Yes, uh, but uh, where we studied about the elimination reaction at the uh, small level, uh, that means uh, we are not getting like the, uh, this kind of too much tough reactions, uh, but we will just see with the simple kind of a reaction and eliminating something. We already completed the addition elimination, it means the substitution reaction. I already taught you that uh, in our 11th standard that we are uh, having a total main four kind of a reaction like that. Uh, the first one that is the addition reaction. Addition means that you are only adding something in it. Then after uh, we will go for the elimination reaction means uh, you are not just going to be uh, adding anything but uh, you ju you are just going to be removing something from that compound and getting a new compound over there. Okay. Then after the substitution at the same time you are adding something by removing something else. Clear? And then the last one that we called a rearrangement reaction. Rearrangement means what? We are not adding, we are not eliminating, we are not uh, substituting anything but we are just going to be do what? We are just going to be arranged, rearrange that whatever the elements and the atoms are being there related with it and get a new compound. Okay, so according to that, if we are talking about the uh, according to that, if we are talking about this thing that today we will start with the elimination reaction means we are going to be removing something else and we will get a new compound. Okay, let us see about this, but before we will go for the description, I will. Uh, teach you about the reaction first okay so let us take in a one compound the compound can be written like ch3 ch2 cl the name of the compound is chloroethane that is the compound which is going to be reacting itself with the potassium hydroxide this potassium hydroxide is alcoholic potassium hydroxide okay uh, what does it mean See, I will write ethanol here. It means, see, if uh, first of all, that KOH is a solid pellets in the form. Clear? It is solid. Now, if you will dissolve KOH in a water, then it is called aqueous KOH. If KOH solid uh, form pellets are going to be dissolving in the alcohol, then it is what? Alcoholic KOH. It means here uh, we are taking ethanol as a alcohol. Means we are making a solution of KOH in the ethanol. That is why it is called ethanolic KOH. Now, what happened? Number of times I said about that uh, we are just looking not for the product, but uh, if you will finding out somewhere else, OH minus is getting outside from them. That means. That means what should we have to be do? If you will finding out OH minus, then there is a hundred percent chances to get what? To get water molecule. Clear? Okay. Now, this is our element, and uh, actually we can call it this is our functional group halogen, and the carbon which is directly attached with the functional group that is we called alpha carbon, and that is we called what? Beta carbon means that carbon which is connecting with the alpha carbon that is we call what? Beta carbon. Now, here we should do what? Here we are going to be removing functional group from the alpha carbon and hydrogen from the beta carbon. Again I will say, here we are removing halogen from the alpha carbon and hydrogen from the beta carbon. That is we called beta elimination reaction. Got it? Okay. So, one thing, don't do like that. Here H plus is coming and here Cl minus is coming and don't going to be making them together with each other and make the HCl. No. H plus will go with the OH minus gives you H2O. Cl minus will go with the K plus will give you KCl. I already told you if there is a OH minus and you are getting the H plus coming out from the any of the compound, any of the reactor, then that H plus must go with the OH minus and will make a H2O. And Cl minus always looking for the metallic kind of the element instead of choosing H plus. Okay, so. If we are going to be elaborating this, uh, let us go with the some mechanism kind of steps. Okay. Now, 
Now this is alpha carbon, this is beta carbon. Okay, that we all know that is more electronegative. That is why it will take the electron from the bond and going to be separating itself. Going to be separating itself like Cl minus, which is going to be combining with A plus Cl minus will our byproduct KCl. Okay, now the term for this one. Now that carbon will take the electron from the bonding and that is why that h plus can be removed from the beta carbon as an h plus now that is going to be combining with the h plus clear so h2o will be over there now what happened see by taking the bond electron it will become negatively charged carbon carb anion by removing by uh, sorry by giving the bond electron to the cl it will become positively charged cation, carb cation. Now, this is the highly unstable state of the carbon. That is why it will donate that lone pair of electron and making a pi bond between these two carbon. And that is why our product can be written like this. This is we called ethene. We called what? Ethene. I hope that you're getting my point. Okay, so this is about the reaction that we have for the elimination. Again, I will say remove halogen means a functional group from the alpha carbon and remove the hydrogen from the beta carbon. This is we called the beta elimination reaction will give you alkene in the presence of alcoholic KOH and which alcohol that we use? Ethanol as an alcohol. Now we are moving for the description related with it let us see about it oh uh, one thing that i want to tell you uh, instead of uh, cl you can use oh also but here that we are talking about only hello alkane that is why we are just talking about the removal of chlorine and halogen kind of elements over there okay but uh, this process can be similarly done for that if there is a alcoholic group being there okay now we will move for the description so If beta hydrogen containing hello alkane reacts with solution of ethanolic KOH. It gives alkene by removal of halogen from alpha carbon and removal of hydrogen from which carbon? beta carbon and make king double bond between alpha and beta carbons okay and one thing i want to tell you really about that see here this reaction uh, this reaction is called as beta elimination reaction this is the beta elimination reaction but this reaction also known as okay what we removed hydrogen dehydrogenation what we removed halogen dehalogenation combine that both of that dehydro halogen simple okay so this is about the elimination we have but now we are having a, a thing that is related with it that is what uh, we just clarify that if there is a presence of only one beta carbon but if you are finding out uh, more than one beta carbon then always remind one thing if there is a presence of more than one beta hydrogens 
as a removal kind of the thing then you will get more than one alkene products okay so another one question will arise sir if you will get more than one alkene as in a product then which product is main product means which product is in a major amount and again another one reason you want why this product is in a major amount why this product is in a minor amount why this product is a main product and why this product is a by product so this is all the questions answer given by russian scientist alexander sedzev what is the name of that scientist alexander sedzev he gave the really good equation related with it and the solution related with it that uh, how can we get that this product by the dehydrohalogenation is a main product in a major amount that we will see now okay so let us write it if more than 1 beta hydrogen are present in the halo alkene clear more than 1 beta hydrogens are present in the halo alkene then by dehydrohalogenation more than one alkene products obtained and we should find out that which alkene product is main or a major in amount okay let us uh, uh, discuss it or explain it with the use of one simple example okay and uh, we should take care of that that the example having more than one beta carbon then and only then it will give you more than one beta hydrogens okay so let us see about that more than one beta carbon kind of the things okay I have a compound CH three CH two CH Br CH two. Sorry, CH. Name of this compound is what? Two bromine or butane, which is going to be reacting itself with the KOH. Now. Ether non. Now you all know that. अपने को भाई पानी निकालना है. Then after K will go with the bromine. Now see. This is our alpha carbon. This two are the beta carbon we have. Yes, these are the beta carbon. It means a uh, one thing that you have to get in your mind that by the removal of hydrogen and bromine you will get a double bond here. That is your first product then after by the removal of bromine from this carbon and removal of hydrogen from this carbon and you will get the double bond here so according to that we will get two products okay so first product removing hydrogen from this beta carbon and the bromine from this alpha carbon and then the product be like okay what is the name Two butene, either but to in whatever, clear. Ah, then after removing this bromine from this alpha carbon and removing the hydrogen from this beta carbon, and then CH three, CH two, CH double bond, CH two. That is what but one in of that. Is there any query? Clear, but. now we should define that which one of that is the which one of that is the more in the amount and which one of that is the less in the amount okay so that is your major product and that is the 
minor product it means it is higher in the proportion and it is the lower in the proportion okay so how we got that thing so as i told you in 1857 the russian scientist the name is what alexander sedzev what is the name of that uh, scientist alexander sedzev gave a thing see what did he say he said that if we are having a if we are having a uh, more than two alkene product then how can we decide that which is the major and which is the minor see first of all uh, finding out the double bond containing carbon see this is the one this is the another one similarly here that is here that is now this two double bond containing carbons have a more and more combination or more and more bond with the alkyl that compound which are having the more alkyl comp compounds con uh, combining with the double bond containing carbons this product will be the major product of all see this carbon is having a one alkyl compound combining with this but this double bond containing carbon having no alkyl compound combining with it yes but this carbon which is having a double bond containing one alkyl group also and this carbon having double bond having a two second alkyl group so here that both of the carbon which are having the double bond having a one one alkyl group combination it means total alkyl group combining with the double bond containing carbon are two and here only one so wherever that you can finding out uh, more alkyl compounds combining with the double bond containing carbon that compound is the major higher proportion and the main product of this dehydrohalogenation i hope that you are getting my point that is why it is having only a one alkyl group with the carbon it's not necessary if that carbon is having a more than this and that is not but till that you can finding out that more than one alkyl group here it is only ethyl but two side there is we are having a methyl methyl means two alkyl group only one alkyl group and that is why that is why this is the major product uh, now the main point see they are giving the plus i effect see here you can get a 2 plus i effect by having 2 edg here you are having only 1 plus i effect by having 1 edg and 1 plus i effect okay this is the main reason that we have means they are supporting this two both the carbons having a double bond here only one alkyl is supporting to this carbon that carbon having a double bond no support can be coming from this side means there is no connection with the other alkyl groups it is alone clear okay so i hope that you are getting number of examples that you can finding out like that where you can find the more than more than one beta carbon or more than one beta hydrogen containing compound and solve them and decide then that which one is the major and which one is the minor but as i told you you should take care of only one thing that is what that is what you should take care that this compounds having more than one beta hydrogen and then and only then then and only then you can get the process of this so i will write it like here in 1857 in 1857 the scientist name is what alexander zaitsev whatever a russian scientist Zaitsev, but the actual uh, pronunciation of this is Zaitsev. This is the actual pronunciation that we have. Barabar jay. Gave formula that in dehydrohalogenation reaction, in dehydrohalogenation. reaction the alkene product having more number of alkyl groups attached to carbon atom containing double bond is the obtained in a higher proportion what what did he say 
the alkene product having more alkyl groups attached with double bond contain carbon is obtained It is the major product. Clear? So I hope that you are getting this one. In our next lecture, we will going to be manufacturing Grignard reagent. Yes, we are not using it. We are going to be preparing the Grignard reagent that we already used in a alcohol, phenol, and ether. Okay. So uh, this is done for today okay and if you are getting any kind of a question related with it please solve number of examples related with it and then you can get it cause uh, this kind of, yes uh, this theory can be asked okay because it, it is already asked uh, in a word uh, for a two marks okay so as a theoretically even that uh, as in a solving the mcqs will get it so uh, so much so much kind of the privilege uh, by knowing this concept related with it you can solve number of mcq they will ask uh, giving the reactant and say that uh, do the dehydrohalogenation and that uh, which of the following product will give you the more in amount or a less in amount whatever the question they can ask to you okay so here we ended up our lecture in the next lecture modify